Hello everyone. Today we have an exciting tutorial where we dive into how you can build a niche website that can earn 40,000 or more per month using AI content automation. So let's dive in and see how you can do that. So we'll follow a three step process to identify this niche. First, we'll identify the niche and how you want to structure this content. Second is how you can build this AI content automation itself. And third, we'll see how you can monetize this niche website so that you can potentially earn 40,000 or more, I mean up to half a million dollars as we'll see later. First step, identify a niche that you want this website to be in. It's good to pick a niche where you are good at and know very well. It also helps if you like this niche so that you can stick to it in the longer term. The most important thing is to how you want to structure this information on the website so that people enjoy the experience and come back for more. So let me show that to you with an example. So I would like to show you a boating website here, a boating website which takes you through the journey of how you can buy the boat, how you can get it on water and enjoy the boat, how you can own and operate the boat. So in your niche also, you want to understand what journey the customer wants to take and then you give them the information that's needed. So for example, here, each of this is another article that they are providing so that you can understand more about the boat. Now for your niche, you want to collect such articles from one website and multiple websites so that you're getting the best curated information. So you can take each of these links here. So those are the links you want to curate using AI automation or AI content generation. So for AI content generation, we are going to use an open source tool called Active Pieces. The Active Pieces, they have a free tier, which is a pro plan, which gives you around thousand tasks per month, which should be good enough for you to start this blog. So I built out this automation using active pieces and here is the workflow for it. And the first step uh, I'll take, I've done is to use the active pieces form. So they have a form where you can submit these links that you're collecting for each of the articles. So for example, I took the links from the discover boating website and put it in here. So usually you want to give a link back to that website from where you are collecting these articles. Uh, and so, you know, there is the second website, uh, second link, which is the reference link. Now within active pieces, each of these automation puzzle pieces, we configure what we want that piece to do. So we start with a form. We saw the form here and that form was constructed here using this piece and all it needs is the fields that you need. So I've taken two fields, which is text fields. And within from this text fields, this is passed on to the next active piece or piece, which is the code. You can easily get these code pieces either from Stackflow or forums or even for ChatGPT. In fact, I had some errors and I asked ChatGPT for help to come up with this final code, which is not a big code, but a small code. What it does is to take the response from the form, the URLs, and then just fetches that website. And it also handles some error in case it failed to fetch that website. And after the code that downloads the entire HTML of the page for the link that we had given, we go to the next step of the next piece, which is to remove HTML tags. This is a standard piece with an active piece so that it can remove all the HTML tags within the code. So if you look at the code, what it returns, it has a lot of this HTML code within it. So the idea is to remove as much content as possible. And so we are removing the HTML tags before we append it to the prompt and send it to the AI model. And the next step after removing HTML tags, we want to convert this content into a markdown so that it's easier for the LLM to generate the content. So the AI generates the content using this markdown content that we'll provide it. And so that's the next step, which is using Claude. So we'll use Claude for writing this article on the niche website. So within Claude, the heart of it is the prompt. Now the prompt can vary depending on your niche and what you want to achieve for each of these blog posts or uh, articles. So you can create whatever you want, but if you want to look at my prompt here, you can pause the video and take a screenshot of this uh, prompt. Now, apart from the article itself, we want to generate a title, which we want to send to the, uh, before we send to WordPress. So we, I'm using the open AI, GPT-4 model for this, and then you're just asking it to generate a title. And then I'm taking this title and passing it on to 
title and content to WordPress so that it creates a post. Now, in my case, I am using this post as news items from a member. So it actually generates these posts here automatically. For example, I had given a link for this and it created this post. And so within your niche also, you can create posts. And I keep this as brief because we want our members to get this information as quickly as possible. But it depends on your niche and how you want your articles to be generated and structured. And finally, I also send myself an email so that I also get to read it uh, when I have time. So this is the automation which generates this article. So you can give as many links as possible from the links you're collecting from the websites and then it generates this article automatically for you. Now what we do within WordPress is we publish this article as a draft first so that someone from our team can go and check this article ensure that it is good and then only publish it usually there's not much changes to be made but you want to ensure that the AI has got it right and got this context right so that it's pub the published article is good and not only that in most of the cases, you also want some good images to be added to this article, which I would suggest to take an image from a site like Adobe so that you know you have good images. Don't generate an AI image at this point because AI images gives an impression that this is an automated post fully, while our idea is to give the best value to our people to curate and give the best information possible along with the best images possible. Now, having been in automation for long i want to emphasize that we want to ensure that we are taking advantage of the synergy between people and ai with ai performing a lot of the work probably 80 percent of the work but humans in control and ensuring that this content that's generated is good and valuable Many of the people fall into the trap of 100% automation, which may be possible in some cases, but in most cases, the best scenario is where AI is augmenting humans so that humans are becoming more productive. In this case, you would become 80% more productive and you can easily build out this niche website quickly. But if you do it 100% automated, that could look like a completely automated website, which uh, search engines like Google can, can block or even blacklist. Once you've populated your website using the topics that you want, Google will start indexing your site. You can also share your website on social media so that you start getting the traffic. And once you have traffic, that's when you can monetize your website. Now, there are many ways you can monetize your website. And I'll show this to you with a few examples, some real world examples. Here is a website collating the blog income reports from various people and from various niches. As you can see, there are different niches and within that there are multiple people earning a wide range of income. So your income also will depend on the niche you choose and what type of content and value you are providing your audience. Now let's pick one of these real world examples. We'll pick this first one, the savvy couple. The savvy couple, they're sharing how they have grown their income to 44,000 plus uh, in a month. and. They're also sharing the breakdown of the traffic sources. Uh, and so you can see social media here as well as a Google search or you know Bing search here. And then they're giving you a breakdown of their income. So this is a good place to see how you can also earn income using this means. So one of the first things you can look at is sponsorships. So if you're running that boating website, for example, you can see people who are looking to place a content which will lead to their website. So you can place sponsored articles which for which people pay. The second place you can try is affiliate links. So for that boating website, you would have links to buying a boat and when people click and buy that boat, you get a share of that sales. The third is the ads. So there can be people in this boating niche who want to place ads on websites from where they can get traffic. You can also use Google ads uh, to generate ads for your website. And so using these means, you can see the amount of income people are making and that's real world values, you know, between 43,000 to even a million. And it's not just one person earning a million, there's another person with one and a half million and there's another with half a million. So the income that you can make is quite high depending on the niche you are in and the audience you are able to attract. So there you have it. You can today create a niche website with minimal effort using AI automation. The key I think is how people work with AI 
to provide useful information, curated information quickly. This can lead to a lot of audience and eventually monetization as we saw. If you found this useful, please leave a like so that others can discover it and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you on the next one.